Hey, good Monday evening, everyone. Let's do weather for Weather Geeks, the Valley's most in-depth geeky weather video. Uh, last week, uh, we had so much to talk about. These videos ran a little long. I'll try to keep tonight's a little bit shorter since uh, we don't have quite as much going on. Uh, what we had going on today was wind. Uh, take a look at the wind chill numbers across the uh, valley today. Spent most of the morning and the midday with uh, wind chills in the teens, and they got up into the 20s later on, not because the temperature got warmer, but because the wind did start to diminish during the second half of the day. But we only did 34 for a high today. Uh, just about everyone, in fact, yeah, everyone except Dubois uh, on the map in the 30s. Dubois stayed in the 20s. Uh, this afternoon. So it was a very January-like day uh, today. Over the weekend, things went pretty much as expected. Our snow forecast worked out very well. We, we advertised the highest amounts would be across the central and eastern parts of Mercer County. That's exactly what happened. Some parts of Trumbull, Mahoning, uh, even northern Columbiana got two, three, even maybe three and a half inches in some spots, but the higher amounts were reserved for areas to our north and east. And speaking of areas to our north and east, uh, the lake effect continuing to go gangbusters up in upstate New York this evening. And right here along the Tug Hill Plateau, directly east of Lake Ontario, uh, this is a crippling, not terribly unusual for them, but crippling snow event. Check, check out the uh, current radar. The snow continuing to just pummel upstate New York. And some of these amounts are getting ridiculous. Uh, Orwell, 34 inches. And this report's even a couple of hours old. So... Someone can get four feet worth of snow on the uh, Tug Hill before the evening is through. Even as far west as, uh, say, the Rochester area. Uh, some places got close to a foot, even a little bit more. Rochester Airport, 14.5 inches of snow. So, you know, we talked about this in the winter forecast in, in the last few weeks. Pardon me. That the lakes are so warm compared to average after the warm summer and fall that any lake effect event or lake enhanced event would just go gangbusters. Well, this is a true Arctic air mass across the eastern U.S. Now, is it as cold as it is in January? No, but look at how dry this air is. Dew points in the single digits in Atlanta this evening, 12 in Charlotte. You know, this is out of our neck of the woods, but th I, I wanted to show this because this is very unusual, and it's bad news. Uh, a lot of wildfires continue down here in the southeast, and dew points this low, it is really, really not good. The good news for them is the weather pattern is going to start to change and more rain is likely down there. All right, the sky is trying to clear out a little bit this evening. I do think the clouds try to work back in, though, and tomorrow is going to be... Tomorrow is kind of a tough sky cover, for, cover forecast. I think the farther south and west away from Youngstown you are, the better chance of getting into some decent sun you have. The farther north and east you are, might be a day kind of like today, where the clouds are tough to break. And then the sky goes mostly clear for a time tomorrow night, uh, allowing temperatures to cool off. Then the clouds roll back in on Wednesday. Uh, but for holiday travelers on Wednesday, uh, not expecting too many problems here locally. Uh, clouds. Uh, where are you going to find any uh, wintry weather? Maybe across the upper Midwest. But that's about it. Rain will be the problem in other parts of the Ohio Valley. The rain is most likely here Wednesday night. Now, Thanksgiving itself, you don't see much on the model here, but I think we're in a sea of stratus clouds on Thursday. It's going to look like today, kind of. Perhaps even a little, <laughs> a little dimmer. Uh, and out of those stratus clouds could come a touch of rain or some drizzle from time to time on Thursday. It's not going to be a real nice day, but it's not going to pour rain on Thursday. Uh, it's also not going to, uh, you know, be wintry, and we don't expect travel issues as a result on Thanksgiving. On that very busy travel day on Wednesday, again, we'll be dry, I think, through most of the daylight hours. The rain is more likely during the daylight hours out to our west. And if you're going east, you're going to be high and dry on Wednesday. Traditionally one of the busiest travel days of the year, uh, the Wednesday before Thanksgiving, the Sunday after Thanksgiving, and of course the last few days before Christmas tend to be, of course, very busy for travelers. Looking across the nation on Wednesday, a uh, little rain up in the Pacific Northwest, uh, some showers of rain and wet snow up near Minneapolis, smooth sailing across the south, uh, so anybody fortunate enough to be heading to, say, Phoenix for Thanksgiving, no problems out there, lots of sun. Here's our official Thanksgiving forecast. Again, not a real nice day, but it could be worse. Uh, Mid-40s, little touch of rain or some drizzle from time to time for Turkey Day. Good day to just uh, fill up, enjoy friends and family, and watch some football. All right, I can't claim credit for this. I, I show this graphic every year. Uh, this, <laughs> this is the work of a wordsmith I used to work with at AccuWeather. Uh, his name is Elliot Abrams. He's a legend at AccuWeather. He's been there for, I think, 45 years now. Uh, and uh, he has a real way with words, and this is his indoor uh, Thanksgiving forecast that he uh, tends to put out every year 
online and on uh, on the radio. He's on the radio all over the country, and uh, I always thought this was real clever. And so I, I can't you know claim credit to this, but uh, it is one of my favorite things to talk about at Thanksgiving time. The indoor forecast, including a Weight Watch, <laughs> being issued. All right, let's uh, go beyond Thanksgiving and talk about the rest of the weekend now. Uh, a lot of people out and about hitting the malls late Thursday, Thursday night, Friday. I think you're going to see a lot of clouds and maybe a touch of rain or some drizzle. Don't think it's going to be much, but it's going to be kind of murky, I think, once again. This is Friday afternoon. You don't see much on the model here, but it could be a little spit or two of rain out there right into Friday night. And even into Saturday, as this low pushes out towards New England, we're going to get into that dreaded northwest flow. As we get into the cold weather season, a northwest flow is usually means a sea of clouds for us. It's not going to be cold enough for too many snowflakes. There might be a flurry mixed in with the rain, but primarily just rain showers on Saturday. Best part of the holiday weekend, actually, Sunday. This is Sunday afternoon. That low is now far enough to the east that clouds should break for some sunshine on Sunday. And the modeling is uh, pointing towards a big windy storm early next week. This is next Monday night. Notice, though, too warm for any snow on the modeling. All right, hot off the presses here. Uh, the latest European model uh, long-range forecast going out to f through 46 days. What we're looking at here is the temperature anomalies. Here's the 4 to 11 day outlook, not particularly cold, uh, near to somewhat above average in the 4 to 11 day period. Same idea in the 7 to 14. Uh, our averages are, you know, getting to be about 42, 43 degrees at the end of November. So an average or even slightly above average pattern is not a balmy pattern, but... Uh, not a lot of signals for cold just yet. As we get deeper into December, the modeling has been hinting that a lot of cold air is going to flood across the western states into the plain states. That's where it looks like the coldest air compared to average will be centered. But we will be, of course, visited by some, some cold air. All in all, I think December is probably actually going to end up shaking out to be fairly average temperature-wise, which would be a huge change compared to last December, which was the warmest on record. So even an average December will be much, much different than last year, much colder. Uh, it also looks like an above average month for precipitation. Now, does that mean a lot of snow? Eh, not necessarily. Uh, with with a potential storm track, a dominant storm track like this, that could mean we could get on the warm side of a lot of storms and see some sort of slop or rain, uh, perhaps more often than snow in December. But overall, precipitation could be above average in December. We'll do an official December forecast here closer to the end of the month. In the meantime, that's tonight's weather for Weather Geeks. See you tonight on 21 News at 11. Have a great Monday night.